Fire when ready. I've seen these rocket launchers on YouTube and wanted to make one for myself and my kids to play with. It was pretty easy and it was a really rewarding experience. You can make one too. In this video I'll show you how I did it. Here's the fittings you need to buy. In addition you'll need about 5 feet of 2 inch PVC pipe and 2 feet of half inch PVC pipe. Don't use ABS for this project. To start with, I measured 18 inches of 2 inch PVC pipe and I need to cut two of these. My PVC cutter wasn't big enough, so I thought I'd try using my hacksaw. Fortunately, I'm really quick with a hacksaw, but even so, it left a rough edge. You can cut PVC pipe with a circular saw, but you want to make sure you get a blade with a high tooth count. This blade has 80 teeth. Also, when you're cutting, make sure to go slowly so you don't take large chips out of the PVC pipe. This will cause it to fracture. This creates quite a bit of dust, so make sure you wear some safety glasses when you do this. Nice clean cut. Next, I cut my two 8 inch sections of pipe. Because I took such a fine cut and had a high tooth blade, the shavings that came off were really small. I noticed it made a nice effect like snow falling. I might use this for another video. Next I needed to mount this air compressor adapter in the end of this cap. I chose a drill bit smaller than the threads on the adapter. I just eyeballed the center of this cap. It was pretty close. I tested the fit and unfortunately the hole wasn't big enough to start the threads. That's okay. It's easier to take away material than it is to add it back in. Now I've got a slightly larger drill bit. Perfect. I didn't have a quarter inch pipe thread tap, so I decided to make this nipple self tapping. I did that by taking a triangle file and cutting three slots on the threads near the end. You can see instead of going straight down like a V, I put it at an angle, more like an L, it points to the left. That leaves a sharp edge where it's going to encounter the pipe as it turns clockwise. At the top, there's no cut so that it can make a thorough seal with the Teflon tape. Here you can see that you really want the part that's cutting the pipe to be perpendicular to the center of the circle so that it cuts. Now it's time to cut those threads. When you first start threading the pipe on, you have to make sure to push hard on the pipe so that the threads begin to cut instead of stripping out. Now it's on all the way, let's take it off. And here you can see we've cut some nice threads in this PVC pipe. Once we assemble this with Teflon tape, that'll stop air from leaking out. Here I've assembled everything without glue just to make sure it looks right. I think it looks pretty good. At this point, I'm pretty happy with my progress and I'm going to go ahead and glue this up. Now I've got to assemble some kind of trigger mechanism. So I did this by wiring this momentary switch in series with this 9 volt battery. The momentary switch only closes the circuit while it's being pressed. I just glued this one in since it's not under pressure. I didn't feel the need to get fancy cutting threads for it. 
I used one and a quarter inch PVC pipe for this because it was the smallest pipe I could find that a nine volt battery would fit in. Go ahead and stick everything inside the pipe, but don't glue these joints because you're going to have to take them apart later to get the battery out. Also, you can see I tied a knot in this cable for strain relief. And there you have it. One trigger. So here is the completed rocket launcher. You'll notice that <clears throat> the valve is different than the one in the parts picture. And that's because the one that I had would not work off a 9-volt battery, wouldn't trigger it. So I bought this other one. And yeah, they're both Orbit brand. Um, this one, just a different kind. And it worked out better. You can see I've wired the other end of my trigger. Wire to the wires that come out of the sprinkler valve. I've got my air hose connected over here. I use about 30 to 60 pounds of air, which I set on my compressor. And when I push the button, it launches a paper rocket about, I don't know, 200 feet or so. A lot of fun. Go make one yourself.